All right, hey, what's up, everybody? It's, uh, oh, I almost said my name. And you know what? In this video, I don't want to say my name. And that's why I'm wearing sunglasses, to protect my identity. Because the things I'm going to say in this video are downright illegal and crazy. Uh, and frankly, this video could be held against me in a court of law someday. But you're never going to guess who I am. So, all right, listen, we're going to drop that act. Listen, in case you don't know, it's been, uh, oh my God, that's a sexy wrist. It's been a while since we've had a new Animal Crossing game, and it's been a while since we've had a new Pikmin game, and frankly, those are like my two favorite Nintendo series, and it's driving me a little bonkers. I don't know if you guys have noticed this or anything, but for the past, like, 12 years, I've gotten a little crazy. All right, and this is why. Now. Don't worry, I've got a plan. Every E3, what I would do is I'd make a video like, ha -ha, oh boy, ha -ha, I bet there's gonna be a new Animal Crossing game at E3 this year, and there never was. So, I mean, there's like videos from 2014 where I'm like, hey, I bet Animal Crossing's gonna be shown at E3. And it never is! So, I finally decided to plan. Okay, so this is my plan for Pikmin 4 and Animal Crossing Switch if they're not shown. I'm serious about this, so follow along if you can. Now, I had to write my plans down, so I apologize if you see me reading. You're definitely going to see me reading, but uh, I think they're pretty good, so I needed to write these down. Ready? So, first up, this is my plan if Nintendo doesn't show Pikmin 4 at E3 this year, which is in about a month, okay? So you don't have long, Nintendo, before this happens. Okay, the title of my plan is Piece of Cake. The plans have titles. All right, first of all, send a very fancy birthday cake that says, Happy Birthday Miyamoto on it, okay? The trick is, though, that it isn't Mr. Miyamoto's birthday. Instead, what I'm doing is I'm sending a birthday cake to every single Nintendo of Japan employee on their birthdays. This will cost me a small fortune, but it will be well worth the slow burn. Okay, follow me so far? I send a birthday cake to every one of Nintendo of Japan's employees, and the birthday cake is very fancy, and it says, Happy Birthday, Miyamoto, okay? But it's not Miyamoto's birthday. Okay, now, this creates some confusion at the development building, but it's free cake, so nobody thinks about it too much. They just eat the delicious random Miyamoto birthday cakes, even though it's their birthday. Now, then, the day comes. It is November 16th, 2018, it's literally Miyamoto's birthday. So, the man comes into work early in the morning, he's all smiles, fully expecting this weird cake traversy. Cake traversy is my official name for this, you know, it's like a cake controversy. Uh, anyways, uh, so he the whole year, everybody's been getting a Miyamoto birthday cake. It's all come down to this, but no cake arrives on Miyamoto's real birthday. There's no cake. How can this be, Miyamoto ponders? I waited an entire year for a birthday cake for th from this random person and I didn't get one? They all had my name on them. Hundreds of birthday cakes came through the entire year with my name on them, even though it wasn't my birthday. But now it's my birthday and I don't get a cake. This puzzles Miyamoto. It eats away at Mr. Miyamoto. He can't get this random cake mystery out of his head. It's all he can think about. The game Miyamoto, the games that Mr. Miyamoto is developing and that he's involved with keep getting delayed again and again and again because this is driving him crazy. He can't figure it out. Eventually, Nintendo begins to lose tons of money and they have to close their doors. They go bankrupt because Mr. Miyamoto can't con he can't concentrate because of the cake traversy. A year late, you ready? This is, a year later to the date, a certified letter arrives at Mr. Miyamoto's dojo as he's in the back bonsai garden, staring into a nearby mini pond, wandering, pondering, pond, pondering, where it all went wrong. Miyamoto takes out the katana takes out his personal katana that, of course, all Japanese people carry around with them, and he slices open the certified letter that arrives. 
a single tiny piece of paper falls out. A small draft of wind causes it to slowly dance downward just before it gently arrives on the morning dewy grass. Miyamoto slowly bends down, a slight creak in his back because he's been through so much the last year. And he picks up the note. He reads it aloud. Your birthday cake is still in development and is almost finished. That is all I can say for now. Dot, dot, dot. How do you like it? Checkmate! Payback! All right. Now, there is a slight flaw to that plan. The flaw being, not only do I not get Pikmin 4, I don't get any Nintendo games because my plan, my scheme, caused the entire company to go bankrupt. So essentially, I have bankrupted Nintendo with false Miyamoto birthday cakes, but the revenge would be sweet because I am so tired of being told nonsense every E3 and never seeing Pikmin. Okay, moving on. Now, Animal Crossing's another big one, in case you don't know. I'm so, it's been 10 years since the last Animal Crossing has been out on a home console, and over five since it was on uh, the 3DS. This is the longest we've ever had to wait for a new real Animal Crossing game since the series was invented on the N64. So this is uncalled for. Don't worry, boys and girls, I've got a plan. Now, in case you don't know, Animal Crossing's like main head honcho is Mr. Aguchi, okay? So here's my plan to get revenge on Mr. Aguchi for his lack of Animal Crossing. Don't even get me started on Pocket Camp, uh, Happy Home Designer, or Amiibo Festival, cause, cause you know why. Those don't count. All right, here we go. This one is called Doing What's Copyright. Doing What's Copyright. Okay, here we go. All right, this one is easy. Work towards making every single living homo sapien on the planet deathly afraid of animals. Cats, dogs, ducks, lions, apes, lambs, everything, okay? I gotta get everybody afraid, everybody afraid of animals, like big time afraid of them. The plan goes like this. Make tons of fake McDonald's buildings, because everybody knows McDonald's. It's like the biggest fast food place ever, right? So I'm gonna make tons of fake McDonald's buildings, but it's just the outer facade. I don't think I spelt facade right, but it doesn't matter because I can, I know what I was saying. Okay, now put huge signs on these buildings. They're all over the planet, by the way. This isn't just American. This is like everywhere, okay? I'm gonna need a little bit of help for this plan. Big signs on these facades that say, free burger day, okay? Now, everybody will come in and get their free food for that day. The trick is, there's always a trick. The trick is that the burgers are laced with a special ingredient that creates a natural feel, fear of other animals. I better make sure that I fear. We don't want it to create a natural feel of other animals because that won't, that'll completely F up the plan. Fear, fear. It's gonna be an ingredient that creates a natural fear of other animals. Okay, so, right? Free, of course they're gonna eat it. Now, about a week goes by, everybody on the planet has had one of my free anti-animal burgers and they hate the mere thought of an animal. It just, it creeps them out, they hate animals. Even the cute ones in little aprons. Get where I'm going? So, in an effort to stop people from going crazy, a big meeting is held at the White House in the United States of America. I attend this meeting, and I casually slip, slide up to the president, President Trump, the big man himself, and I suggest that what we do is we ban all video games that feature animals. Then I go on a world tour and do the same thing for everyone's leaders. I go to Japan and I talk to Prime Minister Abe and I'm like, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba, and then he's the same way, okay? So, now, Animal Crossing is totally banned for sale. I know what you're thinking, this is contradictive. You wanted a new Animal Crossing, but you just got it banned. What is it with your plans, Josh, where your plan is to basically not get the thing you wanted? That's a good, fuck, that's a good point, actually. All right, hold on a sec. Wait, all right, we'll just continue with it anyways. All right, so now Animal Crossing is totally banned for sale. You can't buy Animal Crossing, not even the old ones, and everybody threw them away. So I approached Nintendo 
and I offer to buy this horrible franchise for five bucks. They, of course, sell it to me just to get rid of it. Oh my God, they don't want to be associated with Animal Crossing. And now I have the legal rights to Animal Crossing. Now, I dig up all my fake McDonald's restaurants and put the facades back up and, and I put the sign out for free burgers again. But this is the trick. There's always a trick. These burgers are not laced with anti-animal potions. Potions? I guess there's potions involved. And instead, they're laced with an ingredient that makes everybody love the F out of cute animals. I spelt that in caps, so I tried to really bring it to life with that accent. So now, everybody had another free burger in my fake McDonald's, and this one was laced with pro-animal ingredients, and now everybody just can't get enough of cute animals. So I take all of my ideas for the Animal Crossing series, I get a team of people to help and make, we make the best damn Animal Crossing game ever made, and it's for the Xbox, the PlayStation, the Steam, and not Switch. It's for every console except for the Switch. It sells a bajillion copies, because now everybody is obsessed with cute animals. Checkmate! Checkmate twice on you, Nintendo. So, let's sum up, okay? Hold on. All right, summing up. E3 is like June 12th, I think. June 12th, 2018. Nintendo. You better bring either Pikmin 4 or Animal Crossing. If you show at least one of them, I will cancel both of these plans. If you don't show either, both of these plans are going through at full force and, well, I think we know what's going to happen, okay? This year, I'm not making some cute little video where I'm like, well, I think they're going to show Animal Crossing this year. I've done that until I was blue in the face. Turns out it was because I had a fetish for rubbing blue paint in my face for a while, but I got over it. Um... That was, a, that was stupid. Um, so that's that. Bring Animal Crossing or Pikmin or both to E3 this year for the Switch. Lord, help me if you make one of these games for the 3DS or something else. <coughs> All right, well, I had gum in my mouth this whole time. I don't even, I didn't even realize that. Well, now nobody's going to take this video seriously. <laughs>